Good morning. If you uh, don't already know, I have a travel agency as a side hustle. Um, it's been pretty idle, as you can imagine, over the past several months. Uh, but I expect more people to be ready to travel as soon as we can get this virus under control. Now, here in the U.S., we're struggling to get it under control since our independent nature uh, is showing up as sporadic adherence to the strict prevention guidelines provided by the CDC. Uh, so for that reason, a lot of places are not open to Americans, and I would advise against anyone traveling to the U.S. Still, we can travel and still be safe, but it does take some thinking. Um, I have a great blog post from headout.com that offers six emerging post-COVID-19 travel trends, uh, and so I wanted to share those with you today. So the first is, uh, yes, the world is reopening sooner than expected. Uh, this may or may not be a good thing. Uh, we've got 10 countries that have reopened doors to all their landmarks and attractions in there. Greece, Vietnam, Denmark, China, Croatia, Egypt, Bulgaria, Portugal, the Netherlands, and Switzerland. Some of those are very nice places. Now, some require a negative COVID test before they'll let you go in. Now, Croatia has been pretty aggressive advertising a lot, uh, trying to get their tourism industry going back up. So. Uh, but they do require a negative test before they can let you in. Uh, the safest international travel destinations right now, uh, based on the number of cases per day, are actually Italy, France, Spain, Japan, Greece, and Hong Kong. Uh, but of course, still, you may or may not be allowed in with certain restrictions, without certain restrictions or precautions. Uh, number three, um, everyone is emphasizing domestic travel over international travel. Now for us in the US, that's great. We've got some fantastic domestic locations to go visit to that are open with restrictions, including uh, even Disney World. Disney World is open with uh, uh, admission restrictions and you gotta wear a mask everywhere and they've got hand sanitizer everywhere. So um, number four, um, outdoors before indoors seems to be a good trend. So I recommend going to a national park, which are open and camp. Most campsites are also open as well. Um, so you can keep your distance from each other and still have a wonderful and safe vacation. Uh, number five, online tickets. Uh, most tourist sites are requiring advanced purchase of tickets online because that's how they're monitoring and measuring their admission restrictions. Um, finally, number six, masks, sanitizers, and temperature checks are, are really a new normal thing. Uh, globally, 56% of attractions that are open are restricting admission. Um, half require face masks, 30% are providing hand sanitizer and requiring that, and 18% are requiring temperature checks. Now, in the limited traveling that I've done since March, I've had my temperature checked at restaurants, distilleries, and the VA hospital. Um, I, it makes me feel good that uh, they're, they're looking after my safety by taking my temperature before they let me in. Uh, most of the restaurants have spread things out. I don't like to eat inside, though. I want to try to eat outside. Uh, so usually we go through a drive through and find a picnic table someplace. So um, it's up to you, uh, really. It's up to your own comfort level with um, the restrictions that we're in place right now and the risk that you want to take. Um, I think travel is still relatively risky. Uh, it is subject to your personal tolerance, but there's a way to go wherever you want to go, but there just might be some rules to follow before and after you get there. Uh, cruise lines, very popular kind of thing, they have continued to push their ban further and further and further, and it's now out to the end of October. I am personally expecting them to push that all the way to the end of the year, just based on the trends and things. Now, of course, that's all going to change if we get a good, safe, and effective vaccine that is widely available very quickly. I think as soon as that vaccine is available and has reached a relative saturation point, Travel business is just going to go crazy because we are all stuck inside. So if you can't stand it anymore right now and want to go someplace, uh, give me a call and I'll put my travel advisor hat on and we can figure out what's possible. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.